Let's talk about um, the two more famous forms, hypothetical syllogism and disjunctive syllogism. Hypothetical syllogism. Um, it goes like this, if A then B, if B then C, therefore if A then C. Um, so it's a lot like, if it rains, I'll be depressed. If I'm depressed, I'll eat a lot of candy. Therefore, if it rains, I'll eat a lot of candy. Uh, really straightforward. Here's another example. If it's an animal, then it's a living thing. If it's a living thing, then it has moral value. Therefore, it's an a if it's an animal, then it has moral value. Here again, if it's an A, then it's a B. If it's a B, then it's a C. Therefore, uh, it's an A. If it's an A, then it's a C hypothetical syllogism. Here's another example, and this is an example from the back of your book. If Ajax steals the money, he will go to jail. If A then B. If Ajax goes to jail, his family will suffer. If B then C. Therefore, A then C. If A then C. Therefore, if Ajax steals the money, his family will suffer. So, um, there's not a name for the invalid form of hypothetical syllogism because uh, it's so straightforward, it's, it's kind of hard to trick people. But um, in general, if you get these, oops, if you get the pieces out of order. Um, so if you did, if A then B, B then C, um, A then C, if you reversed C, if you said if C then A, or if you uh, let's see, if you reverse these, if C then B, and then you said A then C, if you got some of these backwards, then it would be an invalid form. So I had to look um, hard to find one that would be tricky enough, because um, most of them would just sound ridiculous. So I, I found one here that could possibly trick someone. Um, and I uh, made the A part red, the B part blue, the C part yellow. So if A then B, if B then C, and then I did, instead of A then C, I did C then A. So that makes this invalid. So let me read it to you. If I am morally responsible, then I can choose between good and evil. If I can choose between good and evil, then some of my actions are free. Therefore, if some of my actions are free, I am morally responsible. Um, this is invalid. What this should say is, if I am morally responsible, then some of my actions are free. So there's an example. Um, and this is just super easy. You just need to memorize the argument form and just sub in, just write letters. So write A above the A parts and B above the B parts and make sure um, all the phrases, all the um, letters, all the phrases are plugged in for the right letters. Okay, here's famous form number four, and I think it's the easiest, and I actually heard um, a talk by um, a philosopher of cognitive science that argued that, um, that mice actually understand um, disjunctive syllogisms. So if mice can understand disjunctive syllogisms, um, so can you. So this is, this is an example of how they know mice understand disjunctive syllogism. So, the mouse can smell the cheese, so the mouse says the cheese is on the left side of the maze or the cheese is on the right side of the maze. The mouse goes and explores the whole right side of the maze, doesn't find the cheese, so the mouse knows that it must be on the left side. It doesn't go back and explore the right side again. It goes to the left side and explores. So, um, so animals, mammals, they understand disjunctive syllogism. And the form is really easy. It says A or B, um, and then not A or not B, so one or the other, and then it rules out one side, therefore it must be the other side. Okay, here's another one. The test will tell me if I'm pregnant or not pregnant. It's not not pregnant, therefore I am pregnant. So really simple, straightforward reasoning. In order for the argument to be sound, it really has to be an either or here. Um, so a lot of things aren't just either or. Um, it's hard to find them. So pregnancy is you're either pregnant or you're not. 